Hey everyone, Anthony here. So I've had these Yes For All dumbbells for, man, these are kind of heavy, especially after I worked out, give me a second. I've had those Yes For All dumbbells for a couple years now, and they've been my sole uh, weight for uh, exercise, for working out. And I want to give you guys a review or my experience. I want to show you guys my workout plan that I use with them. Uh, I bought them because I was just getting into working out and they were a cheap, affordable option that I lived in a small apartment previously. Now I live in an awesome big house. Uh, they didn't take up a lot of space and all that stuff. And I apologize if this video is kind of all over the place. I don't have it scripted and whenever I script stuff, like my mind is always like going a million miles an hour trying to keep track of everything that I want to talk about and all that stuff, which I guess taking notes would make it a lot easier uh, <laughs> on me, but I didn't feel like taking notes. Let's get into this, but ju just stay with me. Uh, uh, if you're interested in these dumbbells, I'm sure there'll be valuable information for you because I built my workout specifically around these dumbbells. Uh, and I'm also going to tell you the pros and cons if you're trying to do the same thing. I think they're better than nothing. They definitely don't get all of the, uh, all of your muscles. Uh, all right. So let's start with the, the two cons first is, uh, with lats. I couldn't figure out a lat workout for the dumbbells. Uh, lats are like pull-ups or uh, the cable machine, which you can see back there. I don't have any weights for it yet. I'm in the middle of expanding my gym and everything like that since I moved into this house. But lats are like pull-ups or the cable machine. Uh, I couldn't find anything good for lats with these dumbbells. So my lats don't get worked out in this workout. Uh, another thing, and uh, I don't really show my body that much, but uh, another thing, uh, legs, the weights for me as a 35 year old man, and uh, I'm 164 pounds now, which I gained like eight to 10 pounds in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I got to work on getting that off. The weights are, there's not enough weight to do squats or any real leg exercises. I'll show you guys. All right, for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna be using the 10 pounds. So some uh, exercises for squats are, uh, it's been so long since I did it, but it's basically like, oh, uh, this one I used to do with 45 pounds on each. So when I tell you my weights, I'm not including the weight of the bar. Uh, I'm, I just count the weight of the plates. Uh, so I used to do that and, uh, I didn't see any benefits from doing that exercise. So I stopped doing that. Uh, I used to do, uh, goblet squats with 45 pounds and, uh, the weight was too low for me to see any benefits from that. Uh, lunges like this, uh, I, I just hate doing lunges and in my old apartment, I didn't have that much space to do lunges. Also in this gym I'm building, it looks pretty big on camera because the wide angle lens, but uh, I don't have much space to do lunges here either. So that's one con with these dumbbells is leg workouts. There's not enough weight to do leg workouts. That's why I recently bought this treadmill because I want to work on my legs. And honestly, the only reason I'm working out isn't to get big and swole and look like a bodybuilder. The main purpose of working out is just for me to be healthy and, uh, and have some muscle and, and look attractive. I, I don't need gigantic bulging legs or arms or anything like that. This treadmill, it's all taken apart because it's, you can watch my other video on that. I've been having crazy problems with it. Uh, on the second time that I used it, it broke. That's my plan for working on legs. I'm also looking into uh, getting the Concept 2 rowing machine, which is like $1,200, $1,300. That treadmill I paid $500 on sale. Usually it's six fifty. dollars uh, I don't recommend it at all because of all the problems I've had with not only it breaking the second time, but it's been like two months now 
going through uh, going through their customer support to get it fixed and everything. But this isn't about the treadmill. Uh, yeah, so for legs, I want to get a rowing machine. Uh, and also, I'm building this out for I want to buy plates and get a barbell. Uh, maybe I could do squats with that or something. I, I don't know yet what the plan is. If the treadmill, once it gets fixed and the rowing machine don't uh, work out my legs adequately enough, I'll explore a different avenue uh, for working out my legs. But like I said, I think we're going to be fine. All right, next uh, with ab workouts. So for abs, I have 40 pounds on this and I just hold it in my hands and I do sit ups like that. I do three sets of 10 uh, with that. So we're talking about abs and then after abs, I'll show you guys my uh, whole workout. So, but the reason I'm bringing up abs right now and my underwear is folding over, the reason I'm bringing up abs right now is because I noticed uh, just today, my abs aren't as defined as uh, previously. Here's a picture from Instagram of my abs taken a couple weeks ago. And I think the reason that my abs aren't defined isn't just because I'm eating more junk food. Uh, that's definitely part of it, but I cut out an ab workout and uh, give me a second, I'll show you that upstairs. So when I was telling you guys about uh, the dumbbell is not being good for lats or abs, I bought this, which is a cheap, uh, it's called a power tower, I think, and you could do pull-ups on it and you can also do uh, leg raises, which, uh, let me show you guys, uh, let me get the tripod up here. Yeah, I bought that and I stopped doing leg raises and I was going to sell this uh, piece of equipment because I'm like, oh, I probably don't need to do leg raises. But now that I see that my abs aren't as defined, I got to keep this thing and I have nowhere to put it. Uh, I mean, I do. I have a big empty house, but uh, I don't have anywhere to put it in the room that's supposed to be my gym. Also, guys, leave it in the comment section below if you guys have any... Uh, recommendations for different workouts that I could do for these dumbbells. Uh, pretty much I'm expanding past these dumbbells now and buying different equipment. But if someone else uh, is looking into these dumbbells, leave it in the comment section below for them. Uh, this is just in my research, looking up exercises that will target each muscle. Uh, all right, so the leg raises that I do, I do, three sets of 20 on this, but I can definitely do more and uh, I might start doing more. It's just like, for me, working out is a balance between time as well, because I don't want my workout to be crazy long and it take like an hour and a half, two hours to do, uh, because I have other things in my life to do. Yeah, so I do uh, three sets of 20 of those. Okay, so now onto the workout plan that I have. I have two workouts, day one and day two. Uh, a lot of people you'll see online say like, oh, you need to do like a legs day, a back day, a uh, arms day, uh, stuff like that. Uh, the way that I wrote these out was to minimize the amount of time I spend adjusting the dumbbells, taking weight on, move, removing weight uh, to minimize time. So my workouts are categorized in uh, the heaviest, the exercises that I use the heaviest weights for, and then the exercises that I use the lightest weights for. So uh, another thing uh, with bench presses, the weight is too low. The highest that I go, uh, this set comes with two and a half pound plates and five pound plates, or no, I'm sorry, uh, what's on there is five pound plates. And then it also comes with two and a half pound plates and one and a quarter pound plates. I don't use the smaller plates because I'm like, it takes me too much time. I don't wanna be switching back and forth. And I'm like, well, if I get strong enough that I need to up the weight, then I'll just add two more five pound plates onto it. Uh, so that's what I do. Like I said, my battery's about to die, but like I said, my workout is uh, based around having to change the weight the least amount of time. And if this video is helpful to you guys, please uh, press like on the video. It helps me out a lot. 
not just for YouTube algorithms and all that stuff, but it's motivation to me to continue making videos and all that. Even though I'm going to continue making videos no matter what, uh, it still helps me and, and motivates me and, and the appreciation really helps. All right. So what I was saying about the weights being too low to do a lot of chest workouts, 40 and 40, and then I guess each one of those uh, bars is maybe five pounds each. I'm not entirely sure. So the max I can do with bench press, keep in mind, I said I don't use the uh, the lower plates, is uh, 44 to 80 and then two fives, 90. So 90 pounds is the most that I'm doing bench press. And this is like my chest with it. It's not a very big chest. You can definitely tell my arms are more defined and, and large than my chest. So what I had to do, I used to do a incline press and a regular flat press. So that would be uh, these two exercises. So incline press is this. Oh, am I gonna be all the way on the camera? Uh, you get the idea. It's just going up like that. And then uh, regular press is just with this flat instead. So what I had to do is find an alternate exercise that uses less weight to get a better workout. So I chose, uh, let me just show you this real quick. And this isn't in the order that I do it. So we have the dumbbell pullover. We have the shoulder press. We have the upright row. Uh, we have the chest fly, which I stopped doing because uh, I didn't like the exercise. And then we have the incline chest press. So my workout for this day is only four exercises. And it's it starts with doing the dumbbell pullover, which is uh, 40 pounds uh, with one weight. And then I do the uh, incline press, which is two 40 pound weights, uh, plus the, like I said, the five pounds. I don't uh, include the barbell weight uh, in this. So uh, I do that. And then uh, I work my way up. Now I'm doing rows at uh, upright rows at 40 pounds. So then I do this next. Uh, and then, uh, so I do three sets of 10 for every single workout. And then uh, after that's done, after I do three sets of 10, uh, then I'll take off the weights and do uh, this uh, shoulder press, which is 30 pounds uh, three sets of 10. So I'll give you uh, an example showing you guys uh, each of these workouts. I know uh, there were guys asking me in the comments and everything about it. All right, so the dumbbell pullover looks like this. And keep in mind, when you first start doing it, you're not going to be able to go down all the way on that. Uh, it took me uh, a couple of weeks to be able to extend my reach and flexibility to go down further. And also you want to feel it in your chest. You'll also feel it in your uh, triceps, I guess, but uh, focus on thinking about your chest and using your chest muscles when doing that. All right, so the upright row looks like this. And I do uh, 40 pounds each on it. And what's that? what that's gonna do is target your, uh, are, are they your trapezoid muscles? They're the muscles like right here. Uh, you'll see guys with like huge ones right there. I think that's because they do shoulder shrugs. Uh, I don't do shoulder shrugs. I don't think I have enough weight to do it. Uh, I did try it in the gym uh, a long time ago. Uh, but I, I didn't like going to the gym because I felt too self-conscious there, but it makes this muscle right here as hard, hard. And it makes, uh, this a little bit bigger. You'll see, like, you'll see it being more defined, like right here when you're, uh, doing stuff like when I'm brushing my teeth, uh, and leaning over the sink, I'll look in the mirror and see like this muscle defined. All right, and then the next one, the last workout that I do is the shoulder press. Uh, I do two 35 pound weights and uh, it's just up and down like this. Pretty much I just focus on one spot 
Uh, just look straight ahead and just go like that. Also, a lot of workouts that I do, I try to do standing up because when you stand up, you'll have more, you'll use more stabilizing muscles. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be working out my stabilizing muscles if I'm standing up. I could also do the, uh, the shoulder press. I could do sitting down like this and I, and if you're sitting down, you'll be able to lift more weight doing it that way. But like I said, I want to work out all the stabilizing muscles as well. Okay, now on to my second day workout. So I have weighted crunches, which I told you guys about already. Uh, and then I have hammer curls, uh, concentration curls, and uh, tricep extensions, and side raises. So uh, like I said, every single workout I do, I do three sets of 10. Uh, that's just to keep things consistent as well. So I don't, I don't have to like remember which workout gets how many sets and how many reps and all that. Everything's just the same. To me, like I said, I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder or anything. Just me working out is good enough for me. And I, I don't need to, like there's people that are like, oh, higher reps. And, and I'm not saying they're wrong or anything, but like the, the thought process or, or the theory or whatever is that higher reps make you more toned and then lower reps build more muscle. And I chose 10 because it seemed to be uh, a good in between because they're like six to eight reps is to build muscle, do higher weight at six to eight reps to build muscle. And then uh, if you do 12 reps, 12 to 14 or whatever is at lower weight to get more toned. So I'm like, all right, we'll just do the in between at 10. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys all these workouts real quick. Uh, so what I end up doing, so weighted crunches are at 40 pounds. So if you, uh, so this is another tip that I have for using, for not, for not having to adjust your dumbbells so much is on this workout, my, so on the day one workout that I showed you guys before, I end with a 30 pound. So the day before I start my weighted crunches and my arm workout, the dumbbells will have 30 pounds on each of them. So when I start this workout, all I have to do, cause I'm doing weighted crunches at 40, concentration curls at 30, and uh, tricep extensions at 30. So this only uses one dumbbell, uh, concentration curl only uses one dumbbell, or it uses, yeah, one dumbbell, and then tricep extension uses one dumbbell. So I'll load up, I'll change the, I'm sorry, I'm pointing in the wrong direction because this lens is weird, but I'll end up, uh, so I'm starting 30 and 30 from the previous day on each one. So I'll take two more five pound weights off of the rack and put them on there. So now I have one 40 pound and one uh, 30 pound weight. Um, so I'll use that 40 pound weight for the crunches and then I'll use the 30 pound weight for the concentration curls and the tricep extension. And what, what that's gonna do for me is that's gonna allow me to do weighted crunches and then concentration curls and then tricep extensions, and then I'll take a break. And then I'll do weighted crunches, tri uh, concentration curl, uh, tricep extensions, take a break until my three reps are done. So that saves me time because I'm not adjusting weights, I'm doing everything that I can do with the amount of weights that are adjusted on it all in order. Uh, yes, I'm probably getting a longer break between uh, exercises, but like I said, my goal is to cut down the amount of time uh, that I'm exercising. All right, so after I do my weighted crunches, I do the concentration curl, which I always, I'm left-handed, and I always start out with my weakest arm in every single workout because my weakest arm um, I can do less reps with. So I want to keep my arms uh, symmetrical, the same size. So if I can only do eight reps on this one, but I can do 10 reps on this, let's say I start out with my stronger arm and I can do 10 reps. Well, now I'm doing 10 reps with this arm, but I can only do eight on this. But if I do it the reverse way and start out with my weaker arm, well, now I know I can do eight reps with this. So then 
I'll only do eight reps with this. So concentration curl is just like this. Man, it's so <laughs> different lifting weights because usually I'm doing uh, 30 pounds on this and now it's at uh, 10. So it's so, uh, I mean, I'm not doing the right form or whatever uh, because of that. And then I'll just switch up uh, like that. All right, so after I'm done with that, I'll move on to the tricep, uh, tricep, tricep extension, tricep extension. And basically that's just putting it behind your back like that and going straight up like this. Uh, some people cross their arm around here, I think to give more stability. Uh, the other thing, the further in you go, I should probably be talking towards the microphone. The further in you go, the heavier or harder it is to lift up because there's more leverage on your arm right here. So keep that in mind when you're like, oh, I could do uh, eight, eight, uh, eight reps at 30 pounds. Well, are you doing it right here where it's easier or are you doing it in the middle of your back? So keep that in mind. And when you switch arms, uh, keep it in mind where, uh, where you have it in proportion to your back or in relation to the center of your body. All right, so after I'm done with those workouts, so like I said, throughout that entire workout, I have one dumbbell at 40 pounds, which I'm using for the crunches, and then the other dumbbell at 30 pounds, which I'm using for the concentration curl and the uh, tricep extension. So now I'll take the weights off and I'll put uh, two plates, I'll leave two plates on each end, so 20 each. And for that, like I said, I do my workout standing up because uh, I want to build my stabilizing muscles. So now I'll do the hammer curls, which I just do like this and uh, three sets of 10 on them. That's the only workout I'm doing with 20 pound weights. So now the next workout after I'm done with my three sets of 10 is the side raises. And the side raises I do uh, 10 pounds, so five pound, two five pound plates, exactly like this. And what I can do now, uh, somewhere like five to eight reps I can do, uh, but I wanna work up to doing three sets of 10. And that's the thing, if I had these on five pounds each, for one, it makes it harder for adjusting dumbbells and everything like that, because now I have to take off all the weights and grab my five pound, or grab my two and a half pound plates uh, so that's one reason that I like doing 10. Also, if I did have uh, these at five pounds, so two, uh, two, two and a half plates on each, I do three sets of 10 and uh, then no more than that. Or I can, what I'm trying to say, I can do way more reps at the five pounds. So that's why I'm doing less reps at 10. So that just looks like this. Get your shoulders nice and squared up and uh, lift them up like that. And you wanna focus on keeping your shoulder blades uh, nice and tight through that. All right, guys, so that's my workout for using the, uh, they're 52 and a half pounds is the max for each dumbbell. Yes, for all, you can find them on Amazon. This isn't a sponsored video or a review, a review video. I'm just a person who purchased them and uh, can't get my camera level ever. I'm just a person that purchased them. I think my body is pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's definitely a lot better than not working out at all. Uh, uh, like I said, I can work out my abs more. There's nothing for legs. My legs are like just flabby, no muscles on my legs at all. So there are downsides to only using them, but I would definitely purchase them if you're on a tight space if you don't have room to store a bunch of different dumbbells, there are ways like I showed you to work around it to where you're not having to adjust the dumbbells every single time. Yeah, my tricep extension, uh, I can add more weight to it. Uh, and I can also switch up exercises because this tricep extension is another uh, exercise that you can do to build your triceps which it will take less weight than the 30 pounds, uh, I can switch up to that. But then that means that I have to adjust my dumbbells more. So I think like my arms are hard. Maybe they're not like bulging or anything like that. They're good enough that, that I'm happy with, uh, with the results and everything like that. 
So uh, anything else I want to say or can we end this video? Basically, I think it's it's very good starter weights if you want to get into weightlifting and everything like that. Pick yourself up. Uh, these, which I think now they're probably like $250 on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure of the price. I only paid $100 for them a few years ago. And then this weight bench, I'll show you guys that real quick. So this weight bench I also got off of Amazon. I don't remember the price I paid for it. It, it was probably like 100 bucks or something like that. It's the, uh, the cap strength from Amazon. And I don't think they make it anymore. Uh, it's good. I'm happy with it. The one downside is it's starting to tear right here from doing uh, sit-ups, I would imagine. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. I really hope that this helped you guys because I, the main purpose I want to show you guys or tell you guys that you can build a workout with these dumbbells to where you're not uh, adjusting plates all the time. And you can build a workout that keeps you healthy and healthy. It definitely a hundred times healthier than not working out at all with these dumbbells. Uh, you can have a sole workout, which is these dumbbells. And also for legs, you can go and run outside. I didn't really like running outside, especially because I lived in a city and don't really like being outside around a ton of people and everything like that. Right now I live uh, in like a suburb or a country or a small, a small town. There's only like 6,000 people in my town. And I think the county has maybe like 12,000, 14,000 people. So uh, I can, it's, it's much safer where I live now uh, than in Scranton. So you can supplement, like if you're worried about your legs or wanna do cardio, you can go outside and run or uh, go to the gym just for uh, using the treadmill, which I used to do as well. I had a gym membership just for using the treadmill. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video. I think I went on long enough and I think I covered everything and got my point ac across. The dumbbells are good. I like them. And hopefully this showed you that there are good workouts that can get your body. Uh, this is my body and I'm happy with it. Like uh, I'm happy with my body with only using the dumbbells. There are things I can improve, like I said, with legs where I want to get a rowing machine and, and with lats, I want to get weights for the cable machine thing that I bought on there. Uh, but for a number of years, I was very happy with the weights. I worked up to this type of body, which I'm not saying it's an amazing body. I'm not saying it's a bodybuilder's body, but it's definitely a body that I'm happy with, especially like my upper half. Uh, my butt is kind of jiggly and flabby. So that's one thing that I want uh, the treadmill and the rowing machine for as well. And doing lunges with those weights will definitely help your uh, butt develop. But uh, like I said, I don't feel like doing lunges. All right, <laughs> that's way enough for video from me. Bye, thank you. Mm -hmm.